She went that way. Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! That's enough, boys. Uh, sir, sir! What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who... who's this? Don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and grey vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. And you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family, and those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacone? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that... You guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Did you have fun? Penagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? I know, right? 
It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. I am. At least for now. Hey, could you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? Oh, I see. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter, the covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. The Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Santo. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> You know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped Yorello 6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Ooh, seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sempo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose. <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups. I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. 
This isn't going to involve anything illegal.